25 seconds, Greg. Uh, roger that. It was 80% weather a while back. Yeah. Uh, 30 seconds, boys. 30 seconds. Black is online. Stand by VT1. Stand by to roll and track VT1. This is shovel launch control. Eight 20 seconds, Greg. Right? Hold at T minus nine minutes. Yeah, 15. Stand by. Taken to verify that the In 10, to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, roll VT1, track it and take it. Live on HDNet. From Launchpad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the liftoff of Discovery, the launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery, on a mission to the International Space Station. This is NASA on HDNet. Now, reporting from Cape Canaveral, here's correspondent Ray Dobbs. Good evening. Within just a minute or two, as Space Shuttle Discovery sits there, as you're looking at her, on the launch pad, already twice delayed this week, which is frustrating and costly for NASA, but within just a minute or two, the launch director in the firing room here at the Kennedy Space Center will pull his launch teams about the weather, about electronics, about any possible mechanical glitches at the last minute, and so forth, and he will ask, go or no go. Hello, everybody. I'm Greg Dobbs at the Kennedy Space Space Center from a meteorologically T minus two minutes, thirty seconds and counting. There are seven astronauts on board, six men, one woman. They're heading to the International Space Station, carrying seven and a half tons of cargo to build the station's stocks for the day, which may be only about a year from now when the shuttle stops flying. And by the way, the female astronaut on board, Nicole Stott, will stay there in space on the station until at least November. And now we'll just listen in the last two minutes before launch. Do you want to kill his mic? Ask him if he wants his mic killed. Good job, Greg. Do you want me to kill your mic? Also, uh, ask Greg if he wants me to kill it. Liquid hydrogen uh, you know, replenish on the external tank. Okay. Is that being Give him a one minute break here, Mark. Okay, and ask Greg if he wants me to kill it. helmet visor for allowing your suits to be fully pressurized. Roger. Ask Greg if he wants me to leave the clock in. Ask Greg if he wants me to leave the clock in on the plus side. Greg, do you want minus to leave the one clock minute, in the plus side? 30 seconds, and count it. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. Okay. I'll just take it out on replay. T minus one minute, 15 seconds. The liquid hydrogen Denver tank inside the external <laughs> tank is reported to be Denver at the so proper flight Denver pressure. <laughs> Stand by. Mark, I need his mic. Yep. T minus Five. one minute and count. We're good. We're good. Go. Yeah. One thing to watch for as she is his mic hot? Round in less than 60 Booster seconds. And that is by the time the bottom of the shuttle clears the top of the tower, she's already, already going 100 miles per hour. One minute into the flight, more than 1,000 miles per hour. Minus 38 seconds. We clear to clear his mic. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. Clear your mic. Clear his mic, please. CLS is go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical right, functions. You're rolling, obviously rolling over T minus 20 yeah, you're seconds. Rolling the world, yeah, right? I'm rolling. yeah, I figure as much. Right, cut to T minus 15 sparkles. seconds. The sound suppression three, water right, system right, has been activated. One. Go sparkles. We have a go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Stand by pad. Two, one. Take pad shot. Booster ignition and lift off of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. VAB is up. Used to now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling on to the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans wow. taking aim on the international outpost.
miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Okay. Mark, watch in for his mic. Standing by for the throttle up call now from Capcom Eric Bowe. Hey, Greg, well, I got you for one second. Discovery. We're going to watch the rocket booster separate. And then the throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sterko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kansas. Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez, and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid deck are Danny Olivas, Christopher Fugelsang of the European replay. Space yes. Agency, and okay, Nicole Scott, line. hitching a ride for three months Copy on the mark. International Space Station. Tell me when I'm open. Uh, you're open now. One minute 30 seconds of the flight. Waiting on SRB separation. Pretty soon, we're going to see one of the key milestones of the flight. The two solid rocket boosters, those two tall, slender white rockets, they're the ones that gave Discovery her thrust to break the bonds of Earth. They will be through with their job, they'll be exhausted of their fuel, and they will separate from the shuttle and the external fuel tank, and you'll yeah, see it on this camera, which is attached to the external fuel tank. They'll okay, fall back it. down to the Atlantic, it's but incredibly, only they're actually right. rising another Sam 12 right. miles first, okay, just watching because this of the momentum live of this from, flight. From Pretty soon, they're going 3,000 miles per hour. And now I'm going to take this. Can see him come off? Give me your talk right, back. Stand by to go to replay. I've got replay on BT1. It's kind of short. It's only like 30 seconds. You'll know when it goes to the computer steering the shuttle. Okay, give me, give me a second replay. I've got that replay. Yeah, he's a hard out. Second's ready to go as well. They're going home. Okay, and are we good for replay? Stand by replay. Stand by BT1 to replay. Good for replay. Stand by. Pitching to replay here, Greg. And hold on. Discovery 37 miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Three good main engines. Yeah, yeah. Three good auxiliary power units. We'll now show you a replay cells. of that remarkable yeah, launch fewer uh, than three minutes ago. Roll VT1. Three to it. Okay, we're going to watch this replay for a little bit. Track the audio on VT1. The next replay, you're closing out Kansas. You got it? Do I have audio there on VT1? Yep. All right. I don't there hear any us. I don't hear any audio on VT1. Stand by VT2. Not yet. Not yet. I have no idea. Not yet on VT2. All right, it's going back. It's going back. Ah, oh, shit, I don't know what's going on. I can do right format of this seconds. once Stand again by gorgeous by. nighttime by launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. And as you watch, bear in mind that it only happened about a quarter hour ago, but already the seven astronauts inside are going 17,500 miles per hour, floating in zero That's gravity up. in space. They're going to come show. home, by the way, if on schedule on Thursday, September 10th, Weather permitting, they'll land here at the Kennedy Space Center at uh, 7.09 Eastern Time. Five seconds for you. On the behalf of all of us at Stand HDNet by. Stand by and clock. everybody at the Ready? Kennedy Space Center, we wish you a good weekend. NASA is now up having music. so to everybody, Roll quad. good night Roll and good luck. Roll it. Take it. And then where am I? Right, you can take this out. all the way to like the very last possible second for 20 before you go to the big screen, Sam. Huh? Keep it as long as you need to. I want you, I want you to go okay. at 10.45. Go. Go. We're full. All right, Denver. We are out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Out. That worked perfect, actually. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> group picture, group picture. Raise your hand up. Crack your jack, guys. Crack your jack in the truck.